Lori here. I'm back. I'm actually here to do kind of a different video. I don't normally do video reviews on my channel, but due to everything that happened with Sarah Henning's blog tour, I wanted to give her a little bit of extra press, so I decided to make this video. Um, I recently finished The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning. I did get this book from tour um, from their, I think it was BEA Blitz tour. They were sending out a bunch of books. I wound up getting this one from them. Guys, I wound up adoring this book so, so, so much. You're seeing this on Monday. This book comes out on Tuesday, so be sure to go pick it up. Um, if you guys don't know anything about me, I tend to always fall for the wrong ship in a series. I always tend to fall for the ship of the person that the character knew for many, many moons and not for the new love interest. This book is literally right in my wheelhouse, and that's why I think I loved it so much. It is also inspired by The Princess Bride. I have not seen The Princess Bride very often, so... I am unsure if it's a worthy comparison, but I just ran up really, really enjoying the book. Um, the tag is, what if Buttercup saved Wesley in the in a YA fantasy inspired by The Princess Bride? But basically what this is, is you have a princess named Amaradon. I'm going to call her Amara, because that's what they call her in the book. Um, but um, her father winds up passing away, and she is the only person that can rule this kingdom, but in this society, unfortunately, sometimes like our own world, they don't think that a woman is fit enough for rule. So they're basically going to marry her off. So you have a bunch of kingdoms coming to like kind of request her hand in marriage. And one kingdom decides that they're going to kidnap the stable boy that she loves in hopes to force her hand so that she'll marry their prince. But they were unprepared for what they get, and she winds up going after her stable boy. The one thing I loved about this book was that it really did reference their relationship in the past. I love how we got a bunch of point of views, mostly Luca and Amara, but we also got other point of views. I really love the world building as well. It was a very, very fast-paced read. I love that there was an adventure element. I love that there was like a harsh setting in it as well. And I just love these characters so, so much. I really enjoyed it. It was a really, really fun read. And it was great. I I really love strong female characters that are trying to rule. I read this briefly after I read Majesty by Catherine McGee. Um, which is also coming out in September, but, and I, I, I found some very similar dynamics, and also a while ago I read Rage and Roar by Cora Carmack, very, very similar dynamics, but I wound up thoroughly loving this book, this cover is stunning as well, and I really love Sarah Henning's writing, um, I just, I was really impressed, there was a lot of characters in this book, but it's definitely more of like a quest, a quest story, and it was just one that really captured my heart. I'll definitely be reading book two. The book, this book does have a wild cliffhanger. I will say that. Like, there's a cliffhanger at the end that you kind of don't see coming. And I'm kind of unsure how I feel about the cliffhanger until we get book two. But it was definitely a really engaging read and one that really captured my attention. So if you, like me, tend to fall for the wrong ship or tend to like ships that are a little bit more not like you know, they meet them and they fall in love. This one really does um, build on their relationship from the past. And there's a lot of fun characters. There's a really, really fun setting. And I would highly recommend that you check it out. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on The Princess Will Save You. Sorry, this is such a short video, but I just wanted to give her a little bit more press. I will have my blog linked below and I will be posting a post for The Princess Will Save You because I did wind up reading it a little bit early. But I hope you guys are staying safe and being well and be sure you pick up The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning. It comes out tomorrow. Bye guys.